Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 28, and this is war number seven. And we're going up against an alliance called the Punishers. Hope they don't punish us. Uh, we really need to win uh, for the rest of the season uh, if we even want to hope to get uh, Platinum 3, which, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's go in here and spectate and take a look at their defense. I take path three in sections one and two. All right, so they've got Captain Marvel movie as the first uh, defender and no one on the uh, second node. Uh, we see Jam, hey, shout out to Jam, uh, already took that mini. All right, I don't usually mess with the middle. And then we've got um, Sorcerer Supreme, anyone bringing a torch will be good uh, to take that fight. All right, now we've got, man, we got Hulkbuster. Um, Black Widow Clairvoyant can do this. Uh, she can do that fight. Uh, the shock is annoying, but she can do it. And then we've got Warlock. Again, Black Widow can do that one, or Warlock can do that one, because I usually bring Black Widow, Clairvoyant, Warlock, and Nick Fury. All right, then we've got Korg. Now, that one can be annoying because there's Buffet to deal with as well. Now, if I were to bring someone specifically for Korg, it would most likely be either um, uh, Omega Red or Havoc. One of the two would be who I would want to fight him with on that node, even with the Buffet. Because with Havoc, Really, all you need to do is build up to your special three, and he could be at full health if he wants to be, uh, and then get his rock charges down, maybe hurt him a little bit, and then fire that special three off, and it should take him out. Uh, but the safer play would probably be Omega Red, um, but I'm not bringing either one of those, so uh, we'll see. If, if I have to take this fight, uh, it would be... Warlock, maybe, at at the very least. I would not try to take this fight with Claire. Uh, she's not good at it. And of course, Nick Fury wouldn't be good at it either. All right, so mini boss island here. We've got Bishop down there. Really want an incinerate immune, uh, if you can. Um, I'm still not familiar enough with his changes to uh, be confident in fighting him. Then you've got Killmonger off to the bottom right there. And you've got Wasp, Killmonger, I'm not sure. Uh, that's a, a nasty node for him because normally you want to armor break him. Uh, but you don't want to parry him because I'd bring in uh, Corvus, but no. And of course, Mini Boss Island all has true focus now. Uh, yeah, that's, that's really annoying. Wasp, uh, you just want somebody that can stop her evade. Uh, and then off to the left, you've got Hit Monkey. Claire can do that fight if necessary. And then you've got Black Widow Clairvoyant. I mean, uh, sorry, uh, you have uh, Black Widow Deadly Origins. Uh, also not too terrible, you know, bait out her special one uh, or a special two. Just don't get trapped in the corner. And then you got Mangog, who is really annoying. Uh, Human Torch preferably will uh, be able to handle that fight. All right, so we'll be back with the uh, fighting. And we're back. And as you can see, we are going in with my standard team, Nick Fury, uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Warlock. And let me tell you guys, I've been doing war videos all day. I've done, uh, I think, three in a row. I said I wasn't going to let myself fall behind in them, but I did because of Summer of Pain and, you know, uh, just trying to get so much done, all those extra arenas that we had. Uh, so I let these slide, but now, now I can try and catch up. All right, so uh, the first node is Captain Marvel movie. And as I think I mentioned earlier, I don't like fighting her because she tends to be very aggressive. And if you're not careful, She'll do like a three hit attack, dash back real quick and fire 
her special one. And her special one has a timing that if you don't get it just right, you're going to get clipped by it. So I hate it because she'll get you backing up. You know, you'll be like, evade, evade, evade. And suddenly you're, you're eating a special one. Hate fighting her. Especially right now, the way the game is, I don't know whether my evades are going to work. With an aggressive attacker like that, any of my evades can fail. You know, and I've had them fail. So I'll, you know, try to evade. And next thing I know, I'm getting hit in the face. And I'm like, wait a minute. I did like a triple evade, but it stopped evading after the second one. It just ignored everything after that. And it doesn't take long and you just get wrecked because you're in the middle of their combo, you know? So anyway, we got her down without too much difficulty. And as you saw, we didn't have anyone else to fight. Uh, the mini was taken and there was no one on that second node uh, for path three. So the middle got cleared, section two is open, and now I'm gonna fight Hulkbuster. Normally, we will see most commonly Colossus. Colossus is, to me, the better option for this particular node. However, Hulkbuster is also quite good because you might bring in someone who's bleed immune to handle the node, but if you'll remember, if you, I think it's a chance when you get a crit or something like that, you'll get a shock on you. So who do you know that's bleed immune and shock immune? That would be someone who might do well here, uh, but it's all good. And let me tell you something. Don't blink when you're fighting Hulkbuster. Because if you blink and you're holding block, that's when he's going to hit you. He's going to hit you with a special and you will get stunned. And if it doesn't kill you outright, he's going to take care of that afterwards. Because it does so much damage when it breaks your block and stuns you. And then he's going to get a nice good uh, amount of time to really put you down. Okay. So I usually find myself having to pay attention because that's happened to me too often. And I timed the special two towards the end so that I could catch him when he was trying to heal. You know, just put that buff immunity on him. All right, so we were able to get Hulkbuster down without, you know, uh, too much difficulty. My guys are in good shape. So far, a pretty easy run uh, of it. Now we are facing Warlock. Now, when I first fought Warlock. When he first got to the contest, I thought his animations, that, that animation right there cracks me up. Now I've gotten used to it, but the first time I laughed so hard, I started coughing. I couldn't fight him properly. He just cracked me up. Uh, but I've gotten used to it now and I can fight him. Now he is a little tricky to fight. Uh, I can't rely on her being able to heal back up because of course with all those infections whether i hit him he hits me any contact if he hits into my block all of that will put those charges on me and build up the infections but as you saw we didn't lose a lot of health and we were able to take him down pretty quickly all right now that actually is the final fight for me this war uh, we were discussing who to take, uh, who's going to take this uh, cord. And I had PTSD from this cord. Let me explain. Now, if you haven't watched the video, watch the video. I believe it was called From Pimp to Dork. Do a search on my channel for that video. And I explain a lot and I make references to war videos that you can also then, if you wanna follow the trail, uh, and you can see one of the final wars that I fought that final season, and I had to fight a Korg with Black Widow Clairvoyant, who is not a good option for it, despite what uh, I was being told by leadership at the time. Anyway, um, there was uh, uh, some issues with leadership and, you know, their perception of 
those of us who weren't using a lot of uh, items, you know, we have easier paths, okay? And uh, let's just say I was getting picked on a little bit. And so what I did to counter that was I fought this Korg even though I knew it wasn't a good matchup. And I couldn't beat him on that node with Clairvoyant. I just couldn't. Maybe somebody else could have, but I couldn't do it. Now, normally, Claire is a great option for Korg, but that node with the buffet, I had no way to stop his healing. And I basically ended the fight with him, I think, almost at full health, if not full health. And I would just keep going back in. I used up a ton of items uh, just trying to basically say, that I tried, you know, so that it would look like I tried. I already knew I wasn't gonna be able to beat him. And that wasn't a good place to be in, mentally, emotionally. And so that traumatized me so much that when I saw this Korg here, I was like, ooh, you know, because first of all, Nick Fury, not a good option. Claire, not a good option. Warlock, can do it. He can at least stop the um, the heals. So he can do it, but I don't think he's the best option. He's better than Claire or Nick Fury. Uh, but in the end, uh, I talked to them and I even showed them uh, that video. I gave them a link uh, to that video so they could see where I was coming from. And uh, they were able to get that Korg down, I believe, uh, a one shot. Uh, one, one good option for that Korg there, uh, Omega Red would be a good option for that, uh, fight. Um, but in any case, uh, we'll be back after a very brief intermission and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. We are on a winning streak. I don't know whether we are going to make it to Platinum 3. Uh, the next war will determine whether we uh, even have a chance at Platinum 3 after such a really bad uh, start to the season. Uh, but in any case, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.